and another video from Dave. What's up, YouTube? This is Dave's Head Up Point Seven. This is another video to do with Resident Evil Biohazard unboxing, aka Resident Evil Seven, <laughs> and another video from Dave. And yeah, I already pretty much did this fucking unboxing, and uh, on my OBS, I have it set up to one of the letters to say I was doing a. Uh, video response and I want to play somebody's video I have it where it can mute the mic on letter B so I must have hit that did this whole video with no fucking sound didn't my dumbass didn't look at the mic uh, auxiliary to see if the thing was moving and uh, I talked to myself for a good 12 minutes <laughs> so here I am doing it again uh, I did unbox it I actually picked this up at 9 o'clock last night uh, GameStop actually let me get it early um, I wasn't gonna get it because I have been broke lately, waiting on some checks. So, actually, I looked on GameStop's website when I was looking in trading deals through Best Buy, uh, their center, and Games and GameStop Center, you know, on their website, on the website, and they had a 50% trade-in towards uh, Resident Evil. So, whatever you trade in, you get 50% more. So, I traded in Overwatch, which I will be picking up again, but I have to think in reality, uh, <laughs> you know, I haven't played that game in a long time. And I got a bunch of other fucking games, digital and physical, that I have to get to. And I just really don't have time lately. I, I don't. I will get my Overwatch back, though. I like that game. I, I stand by everything I said of Overwatch. I like the game, but I'm sorry. Uh, Resident Evil kind of trumps that. <laughs> and I traded in GTA uh, 5. So I traded them two in, added, uh, I think it was like 8 bucks from the money I had on my GameStop. Uh, 8 or 11 bucks, somewhere around there. And walked out at 9 o'clock with this. Um, they didn't give me nothing for pre-ordering it, but I don't think I got anything because I kind of bought it and didn't pre-order it. I, I don't know. I assume that's how it, how it went down. But uh, Ozzy uh, pre-ordered Resident Evil 7. They actually gave him Resident Evil 4, so I was hoping to get that. But he lives in Australia, so that might be their deal. But yeah, I had to get it. Great reviews are coming out for this. This game looks awesome. They're saying pretty much if... Say you're not into the whole lore thing and just took this as a new game, fucking awesome. If you're somebody who follows the lore of Resident Evil, which in my opinion I think got too fucking far out there for me, <laughs> uh, I like that they're gonna do something different and they're re you know kind of kind of like I guess you'd say like a different story. I think it's better better idea than go with that fucked up ass story that they've been using that you know pretty much it's like the movies the movies are so like what the fuck <laughs> you know and the games like that too um so that's good I hope the next one is like a complete reboot and this is like the last but who knows um another thing I want to say too before I uh get to my already unboxed game <laughs> uh, a lot of people are upset that they spoiled the ending and me and old Dirty were talking. You know, we came up with this fucking, you know, analogy. Or, <laughs> you know, uh, what the fuck are you idiots looking at a game? What the, how the fuck are you guys getting upset when something says spoiler? Or, or you read something that's possibly a spoiler, and then you read the spoiler or look at the fucking whatever, whatever they showed you. I don't know, because I didn't look into that. <laughs> how can you be upset you spoiled it for your fucking self by looking at it when it says Spoiler, most likely. Or you should have caught on, even if it didn't say spoiler. Let's say it didn't say spoiler. And you just started reading it. You should notice that that shit's spoiling the game. If you don't want to be spoiled on, you know, shit like games and movie stories, stay the fuck away from the trailers. Stay the fuck away from YouTube when it comes to that certain game. Don't type that game in. Just look at the fucking, you know, a little bit on it, and that's it. You know, I wouldn't even suggest watching the trailer if you're that upset and you won't get spoiled, you know, spoiled, especially with movies. But if you don't, if you're going to get upset and you get spoiled and you're on the fucking internet looking up shit about the game, you know, it is what it is. You know, especially if something says spoiler, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. But yeah, I already unboxed it. It says Resident Evil 7, or Resident Evil Bio Biohazard, my bad. Um... 
It says uh, on the back, fear comes home. Pretty badass. Uh, nothing in the in the uh, in the case other than this, which this basically has like a door, Resident Evil, Biohazard. Pretty cool little artwork. I don't know. Uh, I just want to play the fucking game. At this point, I could care less about. You know, I know they don't give a shit no more. I think the last one game I bought where I actually was kind of surprised what I got was, uh, where the hell is it? I think it was Dark Souls. Dark Souls 3, I think. Uh, I think this one actually hooked you up. I know this isn't a Dark Souls 3 unboxing, but I just want to show you the difference of, like, what a game, some games actually still do give you, which is very rare nowadays. Like, look what they gave me. A bunch of shit, you know? Gave me a fucking pamphlet, just like back in the day, you know. You know, you can't go wrong with that. They gave me this shit, whatever this is, you know. It's pretty much a arm yourself with knowledge. They even gave you a fucking disc for, like, music and shit, the soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't get shit with fucking, you don't get shit with these other games. R Resident Evil, you get a fucking game case, <laughs> and you get... The disc. Pretty soon we'll be lucky if we get a fucking case. Let alone the fucking game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, I actually traded in, you know, those two games, got it. I'm just, I'm waiting on money, and I, I like I told a lot of you guys in my stream, I thought Resident Evil was coming out next month, you know, and I was looking forward to buying it next month. And then Ozzy the other day says, oh, we're getting Resident Evil Tuesday. I knew, that, I knew it was coming out this month once I learned that it was coming out this month, but I didn't know it was like Tuesday right away. I forgot. I just Shit's been crazy lately, so my mind is in other places. Um, and uh, I was like, damn, Tuesday. <laughs> you know, I was like, how am I going to pull this one off? Because I just can't, you know, blow money on games right now, guys. I spent a lot of money uh, this generation on games and this last year. Uh, bought a lot of games. I got more than enough games to play that I didn't, half of them I didn't even get into. Usually I'm pretty good on beating my games lately. It's just been, I've been busy. I haven't been home as much. And UFC takes up so much of my time. You know, I'm just like trapped with that game. I gotta, it's like I gotta get the holy water and start, it's like, it's like I'm possessed when it comes to that game. And I just gotta get the holy water and the fucking cross to get the demon away from me. <laughs> I love that game. You know, I've been playing a lot of shooters too. I've been playing a lot of, uh, a lot of Call of Duty. I actually like, I mean, I've been enjoying it, Infinite Warfare. It's like a fucking curse, I know. I actually, like, kept making myself try it. I'm like, come on, let's just, you know, I, I, was, I was enjoying the remaster, and I just, not like, kept myself trying it a lot, but I actually got into it, because I've been playing shooters. I've been playing that, Titanfall 2 with Ozzy. I've uh, just been playing shooters. That's another reason I haven't been, with UFC and shooters lately, online multiplayer, I just haven't been able to be in games, but... This motherfucker is a priority because I'm beating this motherfucker and this is getting traded in. And I'm going to use that money that I get for that towards Horizon. Then I'm going to trade that bitch in for the next month and use that towards Ghost Recon and then keep Ghost Recon. Because if it has an online multiplayer and I like it, I'll keep it. The only reason I got rid of Overwatch is because I, you know, I didn't want to get rid of any other game I got right now. And uh, Overwatch, I haven't been playing it. I like the game, but I just have to think in reality. I'm not like one of them guys and just say, oh, fuck, fuck Resident Evil 7, you know, uh, I don't like it, or fuck the Switch, I don't like it. I know I can't get the Switch most likely day one, but I'm not going to fucking hate on the console. I think it's going to be good, you know, and I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hopefully going to get around the launch window, that's what I'm aiming for, but, you know, life, you know, bills and shit like that, that, that comes first, it is what it is. You know, the only reason I was fortunate to get this because I have so many fucking games I can trade shit in. I didn't want to trade my shit in because I want to start eventually, I think, building a collection or something. I don't know. But then I'll decide to trade shit in. That's how I am. But lately, I've been keeping a lot of my games, so I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. And two, I know that don't make this a long story, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've been having a fucking blast. And I know some people are like, they can't even believe I was saying this to them. Pokemon Go is a shit. I know I'm a little late to the fucking party, but I love it. I mean, I, I've i been having a blast with it. And I'm level 16. I don't know if you guys can see. I know you probably can't see. But I've been playing, uh, been playing for about two weeks and actually, you know, been actually enjoying it. And fucking catch most of them in the bathroom. 
But I notice when you catch shit around your house, it's the same shit. Or in my case, apartment. But you catch you catch the same shit. Uh, but when I go downtown, fucking, I, I get all kinds of shit. Today I was at the police station, at the court, I had to go to the courthouse. And that's like right, they're all in one area. Uh, same building, actually. And uh, I caught Ditto. I thought it was cool because I was trying to catch another one. And all of a sudden my screen went crazy. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? And it was fucking ditto. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I don't, I don't know all the Pokemons I'm learning. My buddies, uh, one of my buddies, uh, it, you know, watches it with his son. I was over at his house, and he likes Pokemon too. But he watches it with his son also, and uh, he got into it and actually showed it, got me into it, and I started liking it. I would never think I'd be talking about Pokemon, and it's actually fun. I, I enjoy it, and I'm probably gonna get a 3DS, uh, you know, eventually too. I actually want to get one of them before the Switch just to play, you know, like the Pokemon games. But we'll see. I'm probably going to get a Switch first. But that's it, guys. I know this video went on long enough. Yeah, Dave plays Pokemon Go. Dave likes Pokemon. Ha ha. <laughs> no, I think it's actually cool. I never really was, you know, into it. I was, you know, I never, never was against it or anything. I had the cards growing up, like a, a couple of the cards, like Charizard and stuff, just, you know, just because I had got a hold of some. But I never really understood it. I'm starting to understand it. And I know Pokemon Go is different from the other games. But I'm understanding, you know, why they catch them. And how, you know, what, what the whole meaning of Pokeballs. And what, they, what they're what they all used for. And trainers. And I, I didn't know any of that. I'm new, I'm new to all this shit. But that's my video, guys. Sorry for mixing that in. I just felt like talking. I will be downloading this. And I will be streaming this bitch tonight. And too, like the people that spoiled it. You know, I was talking to Bear tonight on his live stream. I'm not meaning this towards, like, people like Bear or none, But there is dumbasses online that are complaining that, you know, they got spoiled. Uh, why are you reading this shit? You know, like, like when I was talking to Dirty, like, that's what you're like, what the fuck are they reading them for? Uh, what, what are you looking at shit for if you didn't think you were going to get spoiled? But, like, Bear said he was glad he was spoiled because now, you know, he can wait on the game. So, you know, I mean, some people are happy, like Bear, that they that got spoiled. So, go figure. But most of, the, most of them, you got assholes, you know, complaining that they got spoiled and blah, 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 blah. Stop looking at the fucking shit. You know, it's like movie trailers. You know, you look at a movie trailer, majority of the time, if you watch a movie trailer, you're going to be fucking spoiled. You know, most of the movie trailers nowadays show you the best parts of the movie. You know, two examples, Fences. And that shark movie, The Shallows. They sh in that shark movie, they show you the best fucking scene with the shark jumping out of the water getting the fucking surfer. Uh, uh, fences, they show you one of the main plots in the story. <laughs> right in the fucking trailer. So that's my, uh, my uh, Resident Evil Biohazard, a.k.a. Resident Evil 7 uh, unboxing. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Did you pick it up? Are you getting it? I'll uh, be streaming a little bit on YouTube. I got to watch Gotham, maybe Supergirl, and then I'll be streaming. Stream a little late. I worked late last night, so I woke up real late today. So, you know, I'm on a different schedule. That's why I do stream really late at times. Sometimes it is what it is. <laughs> Later, YouTube.